I've gotten a big holiday event. Very, very mad at me. Ooh, I got one. Start screaming when we see mice. And oh, yep, mouse murder! <laughs> Quite the knife you got there. Welcome back to Todd Family Farm. So last night we got some rain. We got two inches of rain, which is very, very good. We really needed some rain. The crops are looking better already. So very happy about that. We are hauling corn this morning. So we got 5,000 bushels of corn sold from in the big bin over here at the barn. So we got a truck here. We're not hauling it ourselves. We're having someone else haul it. So we got a truck here getting loaded up for that. And we're gonna be chopping thistles. So, got my spade thingy here. Um, and we are gonna be chopping thistles in the pasture today because we gotta get the thistles under control because they're a pain every single year. But gotta get that done. And it is extremely humid out here right now, like crazy humidity, but we're gonna chop some thistles. So here we go. Okay, well, cleared out a big patch of them over here. We are trying to dig the root out, so dig down a little bit and uh, bring and just dig the whole core up and get that root out there. Well, I've gotten a big holiday event. Very, very mad at me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but there are a lot. Okay, Dad just hollered up to me and Emma to head down that way so i think we're finished though we got the big like horses area of the pasture done pretty good emma, i've got a camera emma, stop that. be nice well this is the chaos that has erupted from this afternoon um <laughs> nice and sunny out as you can see and we finished hauling corn today we got the last three loads done and they are having water fights now and Izella is over here with her new water gun good morning everybody i think i can say good morning at least yep i can it's 11 30 and um right now Dad has got the sickle mower hooked up to the 27 and he's gonna uh, mow around the edges of the pond. We're gonna get that done. I think Papa's gonna bush hog a little bit this afternoon, but not too much, not anything real exciting. Okay, dad is still over there sickle mowing and we're gonna do some fishing. So, see if anything's biting and see what we can do. Got a little spinner bait on. See if we can catch a big bass. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh, I got one. Little bass. Don't know if you guys could see that at all, but got a little bass here. Spinner baits are one of my absolute favorite lures. Main reason being one big hook, it's easy to just take out, and your fish is ready to go back in the water. There it goes. Okay, the pond is finished, so there it is. It's much better than it was. Okay, so just to give you guys a little bit of backstory on what we're doing and why some of us are probably going to be screaming. Um, so this is our tool shed that when we put up the animal barn, it was right up there. We pulled the chicken coop and tool shed just backwards down the hill. We left everything in there. So today we are cleaning it out. 
So we got everything moved out. We spotted two mice so far and some of us. Mainly the two over there. Um, start screaming when we see mice. And um, it's always fun to try and stomp the mouse before it runs up your pant leg and everyone freaks out. So we're going to be lifting up the floor because this building's no good now. And we're going to find these mice. So should be pretty entertaining. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, Rocky, come here. Rocky, come. Rocky, come. Come. Okay, well, the score is mouse one, us zero, unfortunately. Uh, these guys over here claim that they hit it as it was running through the tall grass, but I have my doubts, and uh, it's, it's not, yeah, we can't find it anymore. So, but at least we ran it out Can of the I abandoned tool shed. <laughs> what do you want to say? It's not ever going to get... Get in there. That's quite the knife you got there. Uh, Daddy got me this from everyone. Nice. Genuine plastic. Okay, we are going to be getting rid of the, these two buildings right here. They're pretty much no good. They're falling apart at the seams. So we are just going to be burning them today. Okay, we've got the old chicken coop and tool shed down there and got a fire going with them. Uh, this is the last old building that we're going to be getting rid of today. So this is our very old shop and it's the last of the original buildings that were here when uh, Papa and Granny um, moved up from North Carolina 30 something years ago. So this is the last of the original buildings. It's Stayed together for a long time. Uh, it's got a little bit of stuff inside it, but nothing much. And when we had the tornado come through here uh, at the beginning of March this year, it was sitting right there, but then it shifted it over there. 
um, the floors coming up uh, the root it's just not gonna hold together for much at all so we are gonna go ahead and do away with it so we're pretty sure that this thing is not gonna hold together to get down to the brush pile so we're trying to trying to get it disassembled enough that we can get it down there Okay, little update for you guys. Um, we have decided that it is not going to hold together and we are not going to be able to get it down there without loading every board by hand, every single board by hand. So we've decided that we're just going to burn it up here and have its own little pile here. Um, so we're getting it piled up and we're going to get it burnt. Okay, it is a while later, and we're getting ready to head inside. Uh, we're calling it a day a little bit earlier today because um, it's really hot and really humid outside right now, and it's not that enjoyable to be outside. We didn't do a ton today. Um, we did a little bit of miscellaneous. We got those old buildings taken down, and that was pretty much it. Just a little bit of miscellaneous, not much that's exciting to record. So, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um... I really appreciate everyone who watches these videos. I know I've been a little bit behind lately getting them out, so I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So thank you everyone so much for watching our videos. If you enjoyed them, please like and subscribe. We love reading your comments as well, so thank you to everyone who leaves a comment, and thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.